Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. These evil, wicked people will not hesitate to repeat again what they did before in the pogrom and in the genocidal war. And some of our people are actual accomplices to this evil crime. And because we know they will not hesitate to do it again, that's why we are relentless in making sure that our freedom is sacrosanct. So please watch this video, share it, and make sure it goes viral. Apple. <laughs> please watch. Make sure you share this video. And let it go viral. You didn't know that. Because they didn't allow you to learn that this joke about Yoruba Basso Sigbo, eh, who, who, who will show them again, who will kill them, who will push them in the lagoon. These were inflammatory statements coming from people who were who saw that those who committed genocide against the Igbos, they were never punished. So everyone feels like they could do it. And that automatically makes the Igbos, right, defensive. Until now that they have gone offensive. The Igbos are mostly defensive all this while, trying to say, no, no, that's not what happened. That's not, now they are not just, they are no longer defensive. They are now on offensive. Which means, give it to us, we'll give it to you. And that seems to be triggering a lot of uh, the children of uh, the descendant of genocidists in Nigeria. Because listen to this, oh, most of the people you are, who are non-Igbos today, who are in their uh, 70s, 80s, or 60s, late 60s, 70s today, they were the children during the war. They were the ones who were told that killing the, killing the Igbos in eastern Nigeria was to keep Nigeria one, and it was a good thing. They are now in their 60s. The hatred they were taught is still in them today. And that is why the Biafran war is not, it's, it's so bad that, it's so bad that even in Igbo land, in Igbo land, the history of Biafra is not part of their education curriculum. I mean, tell your own story. But it was more or less like the criminals representing the Igbos in the Nigeria, I mean, Tom by Tom Nigeria Limited, they love it that way. They do not want to poke the bear. The Fulanis and Awusas, the Northerners, they killed MK Wabiola, their friend. And you know what happened? The political crooks in the Western part of Nigeria, they milked it. Yeah, they milked it. Not only that, they forced their hand to make a Yoruba man the first uh, democratic, uh, democratically elected the president of the Fourth Republic. They, they had to do it. Or uh, Igbo land where millions of people were killed. The survivors, some of them have joined the genocide, they have joined the murderers, and they have joined the oppressors to deny their own heritage if that is going to make them live in peace. And we don't want this so because they, but guess what? If the Igbo political criminals, if they were just a little bit slightly like uh, the Yoruba rogues, what stops them from declaring May 30 a recognized public holiday in Eastern Nigeria? What, why? What stops it? Because they don't want to make the people that, were, that wanted to kill them, they don't want to remind them about Biafra. Why are you afraid of reminding everybody about Biafra? Why do you go, all this elite, Igbo elite, why do you go about trying to bury something that you actually have no control over simply because denying doesn't mean it's not existing. You make a mess of this whole thing. You ganged up with Nigeria to kidnap a son, supposedly 
a son of the soil who happened to be like a God sent in this regard. Somebody that was there to just awaken you, tell you you can do it. They ganged up and they locked him up. When Abiola was killed, eh? In Yoruba land, the likes of Tifnubu and Co. They didn't miss the opportunity to milk it politically by riding on the emotions of the Yorubas, which they sort of invoked. Well, they controlled the media. We were all mad. Ah, they killed Abiola. They killed Abiola. Ah, they killed Abiola. Ah, this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were watching all the adults talking about it. Making, you know, fuming, angry, and all of that. Then, boom, Wala is everywhere. They milked it. And they declared June 12. June 12 was supposed to be a symbol like the May 30, the Biafran day. That's exactly what June 12 is, too. The Biafran day is even sort of a bigger than that. Far bigger. It's a bigger cause. But they milked it. They declared public holiday in Yoruba land every June 12. They asked themselves that, you know, we are, we are our lowest party, Yoruba. So, yeah. The Fulani North couldn't do anything, no. They couldn't. do them. Today, June 12, is a national holiday in Nigeria, courtesy of this Tifnumbu. Uh, and his collaboration with uh, Bokwari today in Nigeria. June 12, everybody in Nigeria will have to participate in it. For the killings of the Igbos, everybody in Nigeria participated in it. So that's why they had to remove it completely. Because if you have to acknowledge it, there should be a Biafra National Day. The day of uh, recompense, the day of uh, you know sober reflection, not just for the Biafrans, but for the entire Nigeria. To remind all of you, when two people, I'm sorry, when, when this uh, uh, go one and his uh, gang, when they went mad, and millions of people lost their lives, it must never happen again. But they want to do it again, and they will do it again if they have the chance. So what, why not? Eh? They will deny you, they will make you governor or senator or maybe president if you dare remember Biafra Day. Yeah, you can see that uh, my good general was asking them <laughs> why have they not made 30th of May and Independence Day or a holiday in their Zoological Republic? No, they will not. Why not? Because you are not in their program, you are not in their plan. There is a plan to exterminate and annihilate you. June 12, what happened in June 12 compared to the genocide that took place in Biafra land? What happened in June 12? June 12 is a holiday. June 12 is a special day. In fact, June 12, they call it their Independence Day. Pathetic, evil people. Biafra is any evil man that does not know that Biafra is his home. In fact, I got to come to come to come to go on. We don't know. I never have Lani. I never have Lani. Mokoko. Prime Minister Simon Edba is our final and only hope. And that's why, if you don't support one man, why can't you join them? Why can't you join them? That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> You see us, this time around, we don't take chances because we know these are only chance. Airborne.